Martin Luther King Jr.'s famous I Have a Dream speech. He gave this speech from the steps of the Lincoln Memorial on August 28, 1963 during a political rally called the March on Washington. That day, Dr. King led more than 200,000 black and white Americans in a peaceful march for freedom and equality for all people. I am happy to join you today in what will go down in history as the greatest demonstration for freedom in the history of our nation. Now is your time to make justice a reality for all God's children. It would be fatal for the nation to overlook the urgency of the moment. I say to you today, my friends, even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It's a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day on the Red Hills of Georgia, some of the former slaves and some of the former slave owners will be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream that one day of the, the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression, will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. I have a, I have a dream that my four children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream. I have a dream that one day in Alabama with its various races, with its governor having his lips dripping with the words of interposition and nullification one day right there in Alabama, little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day every valley shall be exalted. Every hill and mountain shall be made low. The rough places will be made plain, and the crooked places will be made straight. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all the flesh shall see it together. This is our hope. When we allow freedom to reign, when we let it reign, from every city and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last, great God Almighty, we are free at last.